Greetings, Earthlings! I am beaming a transmission from high up in outer space. Do you read me? Do you remember me? I am Jared Green, the extraterrestrial abductee, slash channeler, slash contactee. But anyways, you can call me Zini Swawa, the intergalactic extraterrestrial. Oh well. Now, things have been spiraling out of control. So many things have been happening to me. You know how extraterrestrials are after me? How they have been abducting me every time I turn around? Now they aren't the only ones after me. Now the Galactic Federation is coming after me as well. They are hot on my tail. Ever since I gained total control of the multiverse, I acquired hacks on deck. Cracking incredible cosmic codes and breaking down dimensional doorways, I became the supreme overlord of the entire multiverse, the ultimate master of the multiverse. I transcended beyond space and time. I astral traveled, soaring through the vast void of outer space with or without a ship. Traveling throughout these goddamn dimensions with ease, like an ancient cosmic shaman. It's been passed down to me, you see. I am from the ancient Kashinamu tribe of Eskimos. Less than 500 of us still live. I am a very rare cosmic shaman, you see, with very rare blood and unique attributes. You didn't know that though, did ya, though? Now things have been going my way. But these aliens have been doing everything they possibly can to stop me. The Galactic Federation especially. They are coming after me in other dimensions. I seen them. And I saw them when they entered my zone. I was ready for them. I'm always ready for them. They beamed into my house. And I, they beamed in all around my house. I seen their UFOs hovering in the sky, clear as day, for I see with true sight. And I seen a tall white extraterrestrial coming through the wall. He yelled out at me and tried to grab me, but I juked him out and I smashed him hard upside the head with a Louisville slugger. Some other tall greys, the tall greys, they were climbing in through my windows, coming in through my windows. I heard more shuffling down the stairs by my back door. I knew it was the greys or the dramatic lizards or even the snakes. Most likely the snakes. So I use my enhanced microchip mind to, micro, to warp space and time. And I created a cosmic portal. I jumped into this black hole vortex portal. And they were confused. I confused the Galactic Federation. All these aliens, I confused them. I juked them out. For I had vanished into thin air, into this portal. And then I proceeded to astral surf into their mothership. Their advanced heavy anti-gravities had no effect on me. For I had leashed up the vital life force of the entire cosmos to strengthen my own power. I had leached on the sweet ether for years and years. Hundreds and thousands and millions and zillions of years. Leaching up that yummy dark matter. I was gobbling up pieces of space. It felt so good. The ether was so sweet. I'm telling you, first time I tried it was inside of Odin's castle. Inside of the ground it flowed throughout the planet, a crystalline, thick, rich ether liquid. I drank from the planet and I felt pure bliss, zen and bliss. I was able to convert this ether, this bliss, this zen, this life force into pure brute strength. My aura glowed with fire flames. I was in fire in the game. My mana flowed tremendously throughout my entire body. I could feel bursts of air as I do now. Just bursts through my hands, air flowing through my pores, it's greeting out of my hands. I surfed on a big cosmic tsunami up in outer space. I swooped in on their astral motherships and I flew in directly inside of their ship, even going through the material and warping the place to my liking. And then I hijacked their enhanced mothership. Beating down fragile aliens that tried to start stuff with me. 
and I took off into outer space. Didn't know that though, did ya? Everybody else was still in the real live alien time zone. You know, the real live zone. But I warped time again into my own realm, my own dimension. And I entered Tachyon speed mode. Faster than light mode. Nobody even knew what happened except for me. I went directly into the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy. My aura filled with zen and bliss. As I swirled in my astral ship, I was able to stop time. I became the ultimate master of space and time. I am the ascension boy. I started to shapeshift into whatever form I liked. I grew my other body, body parts out of me. I took the form of an intergalactical being. I soared throughout space and time, finding the lost secrets of the cosmos. I have ancient devices as well as futuristic ones. I traveled throughout space and time, and I found out everything. I found all the glorious treasures of the galaxies from all around the multiverse. I started to create new galaxies with my powers and creating high-tech cosmic codes that nobody can see decipher. All the world is under my control now, and it out will it always be forever more. I am immortal, and I am also invincible. Nobody can stop me, not even death, for I shall shed this body, just like a snake skin. And I'll show you how the demonic lizard rolls. I speak with Lord Zamgambadam, the Galaxian leader of the Galactic Federation, and he has set out a bounty on my head. He has sent a bounty on me to bring me back alive for live tests and operations. I am the number one most wanted on the Galactic Federation most wanted list. As well as the aliens in outer space, they all want me. They all come to me, they're attracted to me like a magnet. And they won't leave me alone. Oh no, they won't. They will never leave me alone. I have traveled with Sasquatches. I've traveled with the aliens for real. I do this shit for real. Now, these every government on the entire multiverse, they all want me, but I evade them with endless times. Every time they enter my dimension, my realm, they realize they cannot touch me because I am so psionic. Electric hot magma burst flows through my pores. Some say I am on God mode, but I am just telling you the truth. That's all I possibly can do. So anyways, I stay warped out in the astral dimensions for most of my entire life now. That's all I really know. My life is all about aliens in outer space. You got to believe me. That's all I can think about now. Real live aliens have been coming to me on a daily basis and kicking it with me and hanging out with me. Things even got a little slaky with my snakey, you might say. So I had me some crazy alien sex, you might say, and made con hybrid babies in contact with more aliens and more aliens every single day. You see, I, you see, I see through these dimensions with master sense. I have a focus knob. I can turn to see with true sight and I enter the other dimensions. I focus and concentrate and go outside of my body and shapeshift and soar throughout the cosmos and do all types of things. And, sp and I speak the truth, goddammit, but these mortals like you, they don't ever believe me. Matter of fact, you don't even believe. That's why you will never see like me. They will never be greeted by extraterrestrials. They will never be able to transcend through space and time and uh, ascend throughout these dimensions like me. They are scared. Truly scared. You are scared. I try to tell these foolish mortals you cannot be scared. You got to be paranoid. You got to be prepared. You got to be ready for anything. You got to be curious too. And that's what these aliens have got, aliens have got me feeling. They've got me feeling very paranoid. Very curious why I'm trying to while I'm trying to meditate and relax or when I zone out I start hearing high pitched frequencies being beamed into my med into my right ear while I'm meditating. An alien implant. I just know it. I also hear voices being spoke to me. People are making aliens, people and all kinds of creatures are making contact with me. 
You gotta believe me, and I see these things moving, flashes of light, dark flashes too, making shapes out of the darkness. When you see with true sight, you start realizing realizing things are coming from all dimensions. Dimensions that are merging together, a mix of colors. Things start to transform, and then they, everything just started to shape shift. And there's a very thin line when you are singing the way that I do. So I cross the thin line, and every time and time again, I make contact with these interdimensional beings, these intergalactical beings, these interdimensional aliens of all types. The space lizards, the space snakes, the space praying mantises, the space whales, the space, space spiders, the space dogs, the space tentacle blobs, the grays, the greens, the whites, even the purples, the elites, the ferrolites, the slizeronians, the messiahs, the shinigamis, the cosmic monsters, all of them come to see me and I tell them the stories that I know I've been all across the multiverse I've seen it all I have so much to tell you my stories are just beginning get ready to enter my realm the realm of the intergalactical extraterrestrials surf's up bruh I'm surfing in on them